are going to try and get the Sues as well as everyone else watching the show organized, especially when you get right in the house. So, Leanne, you've got a plan for their front foyer because there was a lot going on there. A lot. There was a lot. <laughs> and a lot of maybe the wrong things in the wrong places. So I think the key is finding a home for everything where it should go. Right. <laughs> Not using your closet to store a can of olives. <laughs> that kind of threw me for a loop. The closet doors opened and there were olives and no coats. I was a little perplexed. So olives can stay in the, in the kitchen. but. I think for, for me, for sure, that mudroom or that front foyer, whatever you call it, whatever you use, needs to be organized because that becomes command central. It does. If you aren't organized, you're going to eat time in the morning. And speaking of time, one of my staples for any space that you're trying to get out of the house is to put a giant clock. Because especially when you're dealing with little ones, you can train them that by the time the big hand hits a certain number and the little hand hits another, you need to be out the door. Very so they smart. have a barometer to be watching all the time. Now, I noticed a few things that were happening outside of the olives in their, their front foyer <laughs> that I wanted to address. The first of which is utilizing vertical space. I think in any tiny space, including a mud room, mm -hmm. you need to use as much vertical if you don't have a whole lot of floor space in, in, your, in your room. So I noticed that they had a shoe bench which in theory sounds amazing, but what I've heard from the family is that the kids actually sit on the stairs to put their shoes on and not the bench. So the bench actually becomes redundant and becomes a catch-all for stuff. You end up using it to pile stuff and then it's not organized what goes on there. You so I'd to like to think of how your family actually moves through the house exactly. to figure out where things go. It and does be sound realistic. Good in theory. Yeah. Really be realistic about how they use the space. No matter how many benches you put in there, if they're not going to sit on them, get rid of them. Mm -hmm. So instead, I would like to see them reutilize that space to hang the kids' backpacks really low. Instead of plopping the backpacks on there, hang them nice and low. I've just used really simple IKEA inexpensive frames to put their names in there. They can put their photos, the kids' photos as well, so the kids have kind of their own locker and they're so little, get them trained for their own space. So they've got their backpack, they've got their shoes, everything's lined up, good to go that day. I look think that's very key. That looks. Right? And we know oh. it's not going to stay like this, but the thought is great. It's the training process. You get them used to this. Now the other thing that I noticed that I, I have to say, I love the fact that they made an attempt to really design and personalize the space with artwork. But you have to balance fashion and function, and when you don't have a lot of space for function, you sure as heck don't fill it with fashionable items, such as cat artwork. <laughs> there was a lot of that on the wall. And as cute as it was, yeah. and I, I gather from the family, they love gallery walls, they love photography, we're giving up again key real estate there that can be used for storage. So I noticed that they had this, the Hemnes shoe cabinet from Ikea. And what I would love to see them do is a really simple application that I've done. These are peel and stick photos that I had printed from a company called Poster Jack. They can easily be repositionable so they can come off and you can put new ones on as the family grows. But how how cute is this now that each child can have their own shoe cabinet? Um, it just is a great place to double duty the fashion and the function. So it's a I functional piece with the artwork on it. This is adorable. It's Any cute. family would love this. Kids love looking at their own picture and they know immediately which one is for their shoes. Exactly. This makes a ton of sense to me. That's gorgeous. And then the vertical storage as well, putting some shelves up here. Uh, we had some hangers hanging before above the shelf, but once you hung things, it just rested on top of the cabinet. So adding some additional wall hooks, you just can't go wrong with the vertical storage. And then sometimes the best organizational uh, elements are hidden ones, okay. including this blank space I've got on the end wall here. If you have a tiny little piece of real estate left and you don't know what to do with it outside of putting on more hooks and more shelves, this is a secret invisible product that I have. You can take this. Yeah. This is a product by Rust-Oleum. It's clear whiteboard paint. And you can also do clear <gasps> chalkboard paint on oh there, available goodness. at a lot of different, the dentist, there you go. That dentist it becomes your communication center. Uh, very affordable, very easy, and because it's clear, you can put it over any wall color that you already have. So is this a big decal or is that paint? No, it's paint. You paint it so on cool. and it dries clear over any of your wall colors. And then that I can you take have. it off. Oh yeah. Exactly. It comes right off. That is great. And then last but not least, the closet where we were using 
olive storage purposes. Yeah. I think the key here <laughs> is let's reutilize it for coats, please. <laughs> would be great. But I think one of the keys also is adding in some shelves for you. We need to get more vertical storage, places for bins, boxes. Again, I've clad the front of these doors with more photos. I think, honestly, closet doors are so underutilized. A lot of times people just have the plain, boring doors. Put photos on them, or better yet, add some cork Ooh, on there. Even better. These are cork placemats from Ikea. Oh, a package smart. of four for five dollars. So use your, again, your closet doors as a message board for your command center to keep all the paperwork organized. You can dedicate one for each child. Mm -hmm. uh, all the field trip forms, right? Oh. Those, get them out of the backpacks and up onto the wall where you can make sure you're hitting all those timelines. I love it. A little DIY goes a long way. A long way. It doesn't take much to all get organized. All the prices are really uh, reasonable, uh, oh, but we sure. want to make sure that the Sioux family takes this organization home with them. So to help you organize your foyer, you're going to take home all of this from Everything. Ikea.